As an example, I'm going to graph the function y equals 2 times sine of 4x minus pi. Beginning with the easier qualities of this function, I can tell that the amplitude is going to be the absolute value of 2. It's going to come from the coefficient that's in front of the sine. The period, on the other hand, comes from the coefficient that's in front of the x, but I don't get to just say 4. I have to use that formula, right? Think about it. The 4 is a big number, and it makes this graph skinnier. And that formula is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 4, which is really just the uh, pi over 2. Now the phase shift. I can tell that this graph is shifted to the right, but by how much? And how should I draw it? So my personal hack for this is I take that expression in the parentheses and I set it equal to zero and I solve. That's where I'm going to begin drawing every single time. And to solve this equation is pretty easy. Add pi, divide by four. So this graph is going to begin at pi over four. That's where I'm gonna start drawing. So that's the phase shift. And the cycle is going to end at phase shift plus period. And that's equal to three pi over four. And I can tell there's no up or down shift, so this graph is going to shift, uh, stretch from a max of 2 down to a min of negative 2. So I draw some axes, I label the min and the max, and I mark the phase shift and phase shift plus period. So inside of this rectangle is where I'm going to draw a sine wave. To make my artwork prettier, I'm going to do a couple of extra tricks. One, I'm going to mark the midpoint between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, and I'm going to mark the midpoints between those points as well. So I'm basically I'm cutting this interval into quarters. I'm going to do the fraction math to figure out what those values are. Halfway between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 is pi over 2. Halfway between pi over 4 and pi over 2 is 3 pi over 8. And halfway between this, which is 4 pi over 8, and this, which is 6 pi over 8, is 5 pi over 8. So that's how I can get some really slick labels for my axis. And then I start drawing. Sine waves go from mid to high to mid to low to mid, and I can just connect with a nice, beautiful swoop, and boom, I'm done drawing a cycle of sine. And remember, if you want to, this graph really is supposed to be an infinite sine wave. It extends in both directions. And so I could continue this graph to the right or to the left if I wanted to.